Today, we're going to review the appropriate technique for insulin injection. This guide will walk you through the steps of insulin self-administration. The first step in insulin administration is to gather all of the items we will need together. These items include the insulin vial, a syringe, and an alcohol wipe. In the first step, take off the cap and leave the gray stopper in place. Wipe off the top of the vial with the alcohol swab. Now, take the syringe, remove the orange cap, and draw air into it equal to the dose of insulin that you will be injecting. In this example, we will be using 20 units. Pull back the plunger until the end of the black stopper rests just below the unit level of 20 on the syringe. Next, push the syringe through the stopper and inject the air into the vial. Air is injected into the vial because this makes it easier to draw up the insulin, especially as the vial nears completion. Keep the syringe in the bottle and turn both upside down, making sure the tip of the needle is well within the insulin in the vial. Then, pull the plunger back until you have the correct dose of insulin. Take a look inside the syringe. If you see any air bubbles, tap the syringe gently until the bubbles rise to the top. Then, slowly inject the air back into the insulin vial. When this is done, redraw the correct dose of insulin. If you wish, clean off the injection site with the alcohol swab. If you do this, allow the alcohol to dry before you inject the insulin. Next, lightly pinch a fold of skin. Then, insert the needle straight into the fold as illustrated here. Push the plunger slowly to inject a full dose of insulin and wait about 10 seconds before pulling the needle straight out. That's it. Now you can feel confident in your ability to self-administer insulin. Follow your pharmacist's instructions regarding the appropriate disposition of the used needle.